I know you have probably come across so many people telling you that you should love yourself. But the truth is that they usually are problems when it, it comes to this. Because when someone tells you love yourself, there are so many things that actually go in place there. For you to love yourself, there has to be several things, you know, that you have to initialize, something that you have to take care of for you to love yourself. Because self-love doesn't just come like a magic, yeah? It doesn't just happen overnight. It's something that will happen when several things are put in place. So there are usually problems when you are trying to find this self-love. Because trust me, there are people who hate themselves out there. There are people who hate who they are currently because of just several, several tiny things that they can change. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the problems uh, relating to find self-love. So if you will be able to work on these problems, then you'll be able to find that self-love that you are searching for. Because self-love is important. It's the essential component to grow us uh, from who we are currently to someone better. When you love yourself, that is when you'll be able to improve m many things about yourself and you also come with several ways uh, to make yourself even a better person. And that's all about self-love. So there are usually problems that are associated with this. Yeah, the first problem you know, uh, when it comes to trying to find self-love is has something to do with uh, self-esteem. Self so self-esteem, self-esteem here, I'm talking about self-esteem. Self-esteem can bring problems into finding uh, this self-love. For instance, if you have low self-esteem, it will be very hard for you to love yourself. So this is the first problem. Low self-esteem can be brought about by so many things. It can be just by the way you look. It can be the way you feel about your body. It can be the way you feel about several things, about uh, how other people handle you. It can, be, it can be brought about by so many things. So if you have low self-esteem, it will be harder for you to find this self-love. Because if you really don't uh, view yourself as an important person, then it will be very hard for you to make an effort, to make that initiative of loving yourself, of taking good care of yourself. Because trust me, low self-esteem will make you hate yourself. Yeah, you will hate yourself because of the low self-esteem. It can be that, let me just talk uh, about one part here. It can be that maybe you feel insecure about your body. Maybe uh, you, you think that you're not good enough. You think that you're not attractive enough. And you think that other people despise you, they resent you because you are not that attractive enough. And that is why you don't love yourself. You, you hate yourself because of that low self-esteem. But if you had a higher self-esteem, maybe le let me say you are proud of you, who you are. You are proud uh, of how you look. You are proud of how you handle things. You are proud uh, of how you, you interact with other people around you. Actually, this is going to make you love yourself because you are going to consider yourself as an important person. And this will make you continue to love yourself and you'll do things that will keep on improving you every single day. So that is the e that is the first thing. So if you have low self-esteem, if you have low self-esteem, uh, it can be for any reason. You have to work on that if you are trying to find self-love because self-love will not happen if you have low self-esteem. If you have negative view about yourself, let me say you, you don't consider yourself as a, as a worthy person. You don't consider yourself worthy the love that you need. You don't consider yourself a, uh, an amazing person then it's, it's, it's going to be very hard for you to love yourself. Trust me. So self-love starts with you having high self-esteem. You have to have that positive view about yourself and that is when you start to love yourself. The moment you work out with this problem, then it will be very easy for you to love yourself. So the second thing here that I have to share with you, it comes to self-hatred. You know, when you hate yourself because of several reasons, there are people who are outside there who hate themselves. I know you might be wondering, and uh, why why should someone hate themselves? You know, if you hate yourself, it can be due to several reasons. That maybe it can be something that you did, it can be something that some uh, someone did to you, it can be any event, or it can be past uh, incidents that happen while you are maybe while you are with uh, someone else, or you are with other people. You know, it, it can be several things that happen in the past that made that made you hate yourself. So. If you hate yourself, you truly hate yourself, 
you hate who you are, you hate what you stand for, then it will be very hard for you to love yourself. For you to love yourself, for you to find that self-love, you have to love yourself. You have to get rid of that, uh, that self-hatred. You have to get rid of it. So you have to find a way to get rid of that. So it can be that you hate yourself simply because maybe your relationship doesn't work out. The way. Your relationships never work out the way you, you expect them to be. It can be that you hate yourself because you never, uh, you never succeed on anything that you're doing. It can be that you hate yourself because other people make you hate yourself because of how they treat you, because of how they handle you when you are around them. So this is something that can make you hate yourself. And uh, when you have this self-hatred, it will be very hard for you to find this self-love. For you to love yourself better, for you to take good care of yourself, you have to get rid, you have to eliminate that self-hatred and learn how to love yourself. You know, love yourself and uh, the moment you love yourself, then it will be very easy for you to find this self-love. But if you're trying to find self-love while you don't love yourself and there are some, so many things that you hate about yourself and you haven't found a way to change them or to eliminate them from your life, then it's going to be very hard for you to love yourself. So, eliminate that self-hatred and find a way to make peace with yourself, find a way to love yourself and this is what is going to make it easier for you to find that self-love because self-love is very important to, for you to grow as a person, for you to be who you are, for you to be happy, for you to create positive relationship, for you to be successful in your endeavors in this life. That is something that you have to note. Something else uh, that, that will make it hard for you uh, to find self-love. It has something to do concluding that you are not worthy of self-love. Yeah, sometimes you might just conclude, I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy. I can't love myself because I'm not worthy of the love that I deserve. You know, this can be due to several reasons. The first thing can be past mistakes. It can be that you did something in the past. It can be that you hurt someone in the past. It can be that someone did something to you and you feel that I'm not worthy of that self-love because, you know, I did this and this and this. And actually, uh, maybe I hurt someone and I, do, I, re I feel like I, d I deserve to be punished. I deserve to punish myself. I deserve to be punished because of what I did in the past. So I am not going to love myself. So the moment you just conclude that you are not worthy of this, of the self-love, of the self-love because of something that you did in the past, then this is going to be very hard for you, to, you know what, to find that self-love. To find that self-love is going to be very hard for you. Because if you feel guilty for the past mistake that you did, for the things that someone did to you and if you think you conclude that you are not worthy of the self-love then it's going to be very hard for you to find that self-love you you won't go uh, you won't love yourself you know you won't love yourself because of the the past mistakes that you did so the best thing here to uh, to eliminate that you have to get rid of you just have to let go you know it can be that you did something in the past and this something is affecting you the best thing you have to do here is to let go of the past mistakes that you that you did. You have to forgive those people who did something to hurt you. And that is the first step for you to find this self-love. Because if you keep on uh, maybe attaching yourself to the past mistake that you did or to something that someone did to you and you conclude that you're not worthy of the self-love, then it's going to be very hard for you to love yourself. So you have to forgive those people who hurt you or you have to forgive yourself. You have to let go of the past mistake that you did in the past for you to start loving yourself for you to start taking good care of yourself and that's it another thing it can be it can be due to shame and uh, feeling uh, the feeling of embarrassment it can be that you're feeling ashamed of something that you did in the past or it can be something that you did uh, it can be something that you did or it can be something that you did in the past so this feeling of uh, of shame and embarrassment is is just going to make you hate yourself because will conclude that other people don't perceive me the way I perceive myself. Other people look at me as a weird, you know, a weird, you know, people consider, uh, consider me as a weird guy or a weird chick. People say that I'm not good enough. People say that, uh, you know, I'm not, you know, it can be, it can be due to what other people say about you. It can be what other people do to you. And uh, you feel, you feel ashamed. Also, it can be that it can be that uh, maybe failure, it can be due to some failures. Maybe maybe you are working on something and maybe you failed, you know. 
you fail terribly in a public eye. I mean, this is something that you're doing publicly, and you you end up you end uh, you end up failing. You ended up failing. You know, when you fail and you feel ashamed, you feel embarrassed because of that. Then you you'll just degrade yourself. You won't consider yourself as an important person because you think that you don't deserve that self love. Because if you fail, why should you love yourself if you fail? So there's this, uh, you feel ashamed, you feel embarrassed. So giving that self-love to yourself is a hard thing for you to do. So you have, you for you to love yourself, for you to find this self-love, you have to let go of this shame and embarrassment. You have to acknowledge that no one is perfect. At some point, you, uh, you do things and they will fail. And that's life because no one is, is ever going to be successful on everything that they are doing. You have to understand that. So don't let that shame and embarrassment make you uh, hate yourself or make you uh, hinder you from finding that self-love. You know, you know what? So don't just let that uh, thing that you did, that shame and embarrassment uh, hinder you from loving yourself, from doing things that are going to improve you. Uh, you know what? You know what? So you have to let go of that. Anyway, it's okay to fail. It's okay to fail, and if you feel embarrassment, if you feel uh, you feel you are ashamed because of something that you did, it can be due to failures. It can be something that you did. It can be it can be so many things. If you are, you feel ashamed or embarrassed by some of the things that you did, you just have to let go of those things. You have to acknowledge that we are not perfect. We are not perfect at all, and we will keep on making mistakes. But those mistakes are there to uh, to help us learn more about ourselves and to help us evolve from the person we were yesterday to person uh, we will be in future. So that's it. So the moment you'll be able to deal with this shame and embarrassment, then you'll be able to love yourself. You'll, able, you'll be able to find this self-love. So another thing, it can be due to failed relationships. You know, you, th you, conclude, you concluded that you're not worthy of self-love because of the failed relationship. It can be that you cheated on your partner. You cheated on your partner and you feel guilty about that. You feel so horrible that you cheated on him or her. And you, you, you just conclude that, you know what, I did this and this and I deserve to be punished. I'm not worthy of the self-love and I'm not going to love myself because of what I did. I hurt someone in the past and I'm not going to love myself because what the point? You know, the moment you, self, you tell yourself that uh, I did something to hurt someone so I'm not going to love myself, then it's, you're, going, you're not going to love yourself and it will be very hard for you to even to get, uh, take good care of yourself. I mean, how will you take good care of yourself if you feel guilty about the things that you did in the past? You know what? And this means your life will be miserable. If you can't take good care of yourself, you can't love yourself, your life is going to suck, trust me. You're not going to be happy. You're not going to accomplish the things that you want in your life. And your relationship, every relationship will keep on crumbling because you don't love yourself. You don't love yourself. For you to love other people, you have to love yourself first. And that is what will enable it to spread to the other people who are around you, people who you, are surround, you surround yourself with. So you have to understand here. So you don't have to feel, if you did something in the past to hurt someone or someone did something, to hurt you in the past. You don't have to take that and install it in within your system. Don't install that thing in your system because if you try to install that thing, that thing that happened in the past in your system, then it's going to be very hard for you to love yourself because you will conclude that if maybe someone cheated on me, it means that I'm not worth it. You will feel insecure about yourself. You will feel that you're not good enough. And this means you won't love yourself. And also, if you did something to hurt someone in the past, in your relationships, maybe, and uh, you'll conclude that I did something to hurt someone and deserve to be punished. I deserve to be, I, de I deserve to be punished for what I did to that person that loved me so much and I hurt it, uh, and I hurt him or her. You know. So when you tell yourself that that you deserve to be punished and you do, you don't deserve that self love, then it's going to be very hard for you to love yourself. So you have to, you just have to let go of things that happened in the past. As I told you earlier, we are not perfect. We are human beings. We will always make mistakes, and these mistakes help us to help us to learn. These mistakes help help us to find ourselves. These mistakes help us to find new ways to come uh, uh, to interact with people and to solve so many problems in our lives. So you know what? Don't just le let your past mistakes define you and pretend and hinder you from finding this self love.
So guys, this is what I really wanted to share. I felt that this is something something important because there are some people out there who don't love themselves. They are finding hard to find this self-love because of these things that I've just talked about. If you are if you are in that path, if you're in this situation, then you know what? Take use of the advice that I've just shared with you and make use of them and try to love yourself. Find ways to love yourself and this is what we actually improve you from who you are who you were yesterday to someone better in the future so thank you so much for watching if you have any question leave your comment in the comment section if you're new to my channel kindly subscribe if you like the content that i'm sharing you know what hit the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe because i'll be coming with more amazing content and i'll see you in the next one